In just about two weeks, cars will be racing through the streets of downtown Detroit for the Grand Prix. And this morning, we're getting a special preview of the big race straight from Pitt Lane. Jordan Burroughs on your block there at Atwater. Jordan, good morning. Sandra and Chris, good morning. It's interesting. When I want to race in downtown Detroit, the fuzz are on me, right? We got the Grand Prix IndyCar Series. That's when it's allowed, when it's a normal thing to do. We're going to bring in the man of the hour. This is Michael Bontry, Grand Prix president. He brought his ride. I told you guys this Corvette may have been mine. No, 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 no. We got to bring in Michael, who rightfully so gets to drive uh, this car on. Michael, thank you for joining us this yeah, morning. Course, Grand Prix, a little more than two weeks away. What's the excitement like uh, with you, your team, and in the city? Well, just seeing the circuit getting built, seeing these suites get getting put up behind us, it just brings the entire team together. We've been planning since last year, right? And, since uh, the day after probably the race last year, right? Absolutely. So, no, we're, we're super excited, and uh, we have a lot in store for this year. It's going to be great. A lot in store. Is there a little, a uh, little hint, a little tease you can tell us about for the uh, Grand Prix? Yeah, we'll have some announcements coming out over the next couple of days. Uh, we'll have a nice concert up in Cadillac Square. That's okay. going to be a lot of fun. We're going to activate that whole Woodward corridor between Spirit Plaza and Campus Martius. So just like the draft going north on Woodward, we will as well. So there's going to be a lot of fan activation down at Hart Plaza and then Woodward. And speaking of the draft, it obviously brought hundreds of thousands of people to the city. Do you feel maybe a little more pressure this year to really uh, ramp? <laughs> it up for this event in Detroit. I know it's here every year, yeah, but I mean, with absolutely. the draft, it's like, wow, Detroit on the map. No, yeah, absolutely. I mean, it, it's wonderful for the city. I think a lot of people looked at that and said, wow, I want to be a part of that downtown Detroit atmosphere, and we're going to bring it to them in a couple weeks. There are so many ticket packages and tickets that are already sold out. Yeah. That's not to say you can't get your tickets yet, but what would you recommend for a first time, maybe a family coming to the Grand Prix? How should they go about enjoying this? Yeah, absolutely. It all depends on what, um, what you're looking to get out of it. We have a ton of free fan areas, but if you're really looking for the best seat in the house, turn three is sold out which is where all the action is, yeah. except for our Turn 3 Club. Okay. Turn 3 Club, shaded seats, padded seats, food, beverage included. Sounds right nice. Right in Turn 3. It's a beautiful setting. So there are a couple of seats left in there. I would recommend that. If you're and do you know, I mean, I might be putting any on the spot ticket prices at all for that. Do you know that? It's $500 uh, per person in there. But again, best seat in the house, includes all of your food and beverage for the entire day. What about the IndyCar drivers themselves? We didn't talk about them at 530, but how do they usually feel about coming to the Grand Prix and they've yeah. got in, they've got the uh, Indy 500 the following week or weekend before, week before actually, yeah, week before. you know, and then they come yeah. here two races pretty close to each other. How do they feel about the Grand Prix? Well, I can tell you that the setting here downtown with the Renaissance Center as a backdrop with this Blue Cross Blue Shield double sided pit lane. They love it. It's a unique circuit. And it's very tight, very technical. But last year, they did some passing on it. And we, we smoothed out some of the areas of the track. There should be more passing even this year. Uh, before we let you go, so fans are obviously going to come out here Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And there's going to be planning, you know, the day after that Monday. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe a little bit of a recovery day for the team and management to get it, to get it together. Then they'll plan for 2025. Yeah. But with the Grand Prix coming up, what should people keep in mind if they want to come down here? Well, first of all, we were really uh, pleasantly surprised with the number of people that parked in Midtown, took the queue line down and experience the entire downtown. You get off the queue line just by Campus Martius and then walk right down to the circuit. It's the beauty of having it right downtown. You can enjoy it, then grab a bite to eat afterwards somewhere in downtown and then head back home wherever you're from. So. You always got to plug public transit when you can in Detroit, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Michael Montry, Grand Prix President. Michael, thank you for joining us this morning. Chris and Sandra will be with you all morning long. We've got the Cadillac. We've got the Corvette. I don't know what else is going to come on our show, but you got to stay tuned because I know we'll have some more guests talking about everything involved uh, with the Grand Prix. Reporting live from Pit Lane, Jordan Burrow, CBS News, Detroit.